I'm going to be using my phone. I made notes on. Oh, okay. On I thought you were thought you were looking at promo codes. No, like, let's, have you started? That's also, the lights are not. They no! Are not lights. <laughs> You're right. Boom. Ugh. Good catch. Woof. I would, uh, you'd probably make us do it again. You're obsessed <laughs> with the life. <laughs> Needs to be immaculate. Immaculate. Uh. Okay. All right, let me get I'm my notes Consummate out. lighting professional. <laughs> Let's <you> get pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Spoonsville. Today, we're going to be covering the master, Joaquin Phoenix, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, and that other lady. Other lady. Oh, Look. Amy Adams. Yeah. Adams. Oh my god, I hope it's her. It is. No. Because she looks like the Guar other. Guaranteed. Okay, Amy Adams. She's guaranteed. so good. Jesse, Jesse Pl Plemons. Oh yeah, he's blowing up. Is in there. Yeah, he he's is. And I'm up. really glad. I'm happy yeah. for him. I feel bad. I, I used to think he was kind of like a, just a, a, a like a, 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 a rip off version of Matt Damon, but he's his own person. He's Why did you person. think that? What, the first time I saw him was in Breaking Bad and he just seemed like a young Matt Damon. There's what, a thing here. To... What hair do we need to? No, there's a, a spot? I don't know what's going on here. It's like <laughs> what? Is it schmutz? Yellow stuff. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, and Laura Laura Dern was in here. Who? She was really good in this. Yes. She was really really yes, good. She was. she was just a, a, a perfect. Great, so so wanting to believe. Yeah. In the leader she, in the cult leader. In the cult, yeah, she's yeah. a great cult. Uh, That's a great scene. But yeah, I I suggested it because you. We're both big Hoffman fans. So I thought, well, this is an interesting Hoffman role. Yeah, we definitely love Philip oh, Seymour Hoffman. And he was beautiful he was. in this. He Just, was. he's, oh, he was so good yeah. in this. Wow. And yeah. Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Love him. Also. And yeah. Amy Adams. Yeah. It was like a, a window into uh, how bad life can get for yeah. people. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. I think to get to a point of, putting a cult together, mm -hmm. you would have had to go through some stuff. Yeah. It's it's a cool movie again where just through the acting and a little bit of dialogue, you get a sense of how to start a cult, you also at one point go through a really dark, dark period where you almost maybe create this this new ego, world this new world you, to that accommodates, accommodates you in the way you, that you wanted and that you, you were robbed it. of or yeah. deprived of when you needed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And then you... Then that's how you can kind of yeah you develop this false sense of self and false reality and everything, and he I think he sees in Joaquin like the person he was and somehow he broke and then he decided to reimagine himself yeah you know and and they also have this kind of this relationship too where it's 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 an interesting like in some ways they I think they both kind of want to be able to just goof around and wrestle each other but then there is just this natural um, uh, power difference where he's just a lot more educated, he's a lot more, you know, calm in himself, and Joaquin is just a total mess. So. And I feel like the relationship was, it was very interesting when I was looking at yeah. it, I was like, okay, well, there they have, they there's this endearment that mm -hmm. they have towards each other, for whatever reason. Yeah. He says, the master in the beginning, um, Philip Seymour Hoffman says, I feel like I've met you, you know, I feel mm -hmm. like I know you, I feel like we've met somewhere, Yeah. where, but Joaquin doesn't, you know, have any yeah. kind of recollection, or that kind of, feeling although he is drawn to him mm -hmm. um if you've gone through something um that's really hard a certain hardship and you see someone else going through that same thing you are much more sympathetic to mm -hmm. them because you know how difficult a lot mm -hmm. you you experience that you know yeah. that pain that yeah. they're going through and so you're much there's a level of wanting to help that person out yeah. especially when you feel like you found a way out of it yeah. and so you're you're kind of like you have this kind of you know, desire to, yeah. to then, um, maybe help that person out yeah. for him. If to kind of prove that his techniques work, if I can help this person who seems beyond help, then that adds some validity. Yeah. I like, Which, yeah. yeah. Um, and I like, uh, like I, what I like too, about I think it's really well done in terms of when he's explaining, there's a scene where he's explaining his philosophy, basically of the cult. And then there's a guy that's, you know, he's a skeptic and he's there, maybe he's writing an article or something, and then they get into a back and forth. And what I like about it is, yeah, you know, you realize that, and then it's not even just the one person. It's like even the family thinks, you know, he's just kind of making it up. Well, like the son. He's got, the son, the son is feels completely, that. yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, when Philip Seymour Hoffman's discussing all these things with the skeptic, there are a lot of parts that sound good and are even seem like seemingly pretty legitimate 
good ways to live, but then it gets mixed in with kind of stuff that he's just kind of thrown out there. I remember even um, the first time they meet, well, after he wakes up, he's like, come and enjoy the party. Yeah. My my daughter's getting married. Forget your, but leave your memories yeah. behind and leave your pain behind. Yeah. And let's just enjoy the party, you yeah. know? And that is the thing that the cult offers yeah. to, um, to Joaquin and probably people in general. Yeah. That's something that I... The movie is great if yeah. you I feel if you want to know what happens in a cult. Yeah. And also I think the movie um helped me rem- reminded me of the fact that you know sometimes people who join cults are vilified like oh yeah. you're stupid or yeah. how could you be fooled by yeah. ABC but if you're coming from just complete chaos if yeah. your life was the kind of chaos that Joaquin Phoenix life was before mm-hmm. they in the movie I don't remember his name yeah. what's his name Freddie 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 Quell yeah, yeah that his life was before joining that cult yeah a cult is peace it's a, it's a new family for him exactly yeah. the people that are most desperate for the the love or attention of the of the family I don't know how to explain it. Like, I feel like it, it spoke a lot to the master's own insecurities mm. um, because you know how with your family, let's say, for example, you have an insecure parent mm-hmm. and they can't, they always want some kind of validation. Mm-hmm. But as a kid, you're not really giving them, yeah. them that because you don't really feel like, you feel like naturally as a, as a parent. You need as a, that validation. Well, yeah, you need that. First of all, you're the one who should be getting that mm-hmm. validation. But also because if you're... With a, with your family, there's that sense of you should know that I love you. I mean, of yeah. course, there are going to be certain things that will yeah. I have to do certain things, but you should you shouldn't need for me to be telling you you're great, you're great, you're great, right? Yeah. But then if you're that kind of person who needs that validation, you you have which usually if you really need that intense validation from people, you're super insecure. Yeah. So you're gonna seek it out every single like place you can find it. Yeah. And if you find a person like Freddie, it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect because it's like. This guy is going to feel, look at me as a savior, yeah. right? So so that's what um, I feel, that's why I feel like there's a selfishness there. Yeah. Um, because he, um, Freddie allows the master to satisfy his superiority complex. Mm. I don't know, if you're in a desperate situation, both these people needed each other yeah. or wanted each other. I don't know if needing is, a, right. is right to say, but because Freddie wanted someone to, to um, that loved him the mm-hmm. way that the master does or um give him that gives him that support and you know comforts him and yeah. protects him and loves him yeah he didn't have that that's a thing that he's longing for yeah. and then the master wants you know someone that he will f- make him feel like th- that will really happen to or or validate his sense of superiority which so these two people are perfect for each other right yeah. And it's a very unhealthy relationship, obviously, yeah. because it comes from two people who I think are primarily insecure about it themselves. Mm-hmm. Everyone has a master. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that he oh, says. Oh, yeah. That's a good The line. master says at the end, he yeah. says, if you figure out how to live without serving a master, yeah. let us know yeah. um, for you'd be the first person in the world. Yeah. And he says any master yeah. in whatever form. Yeah. I thought that was just fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not about even if you don't go to church and no, you don't you don't believe in God, organized thing, or you don't go to, or you're not a part of a cult, and right. there's no cult leader that you are that is your master. Right. Your video games could be your master. Sure. <laughs> and any addiction could be a master over you, unless you have a total mastery over yourself and you're not easily, you know, influenced by any external things. Exactly. You know? Like, and even the master for you could be perfectionism. Yes. Like. I struggle with that, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and, then, and, and so, and then you're doing things because of like, maybe you're overworking, which I struggle with, right? right? right. Because of my perfectionism. Right. And that is an example yeah. of that is my master. Yeah. I cannot, it's hard to be, free it's, from hard to be it's hard to be free from it. Yeah. Yeah. I almost feel like I want to watch that movie again. Um, There's a lot of stuff in even it. Even though it was painful. Like it was, yeah. it's, it's, it's really hard to watch. Honestly, yeah. there's just yeah. so much stuff. Cults, yeah. cults can be... I don't know. Well, you know, I don't know if maybe there are good cults out there. I don't know. <laughs> the other thing that I point that I made a note of is the dogma. You know where um, Laura Dern talks about. You remember? So the master writes a book. Yeah. And then she's she notices that you know in in uh, chapter two I noticed that you said you know recall before but now you said imagine but isn't this doesn't that uh, you know imply that we're not 
that this is not real. This is not a hard, yeah. fast truth. Yeah. It kind of implies that yeah. there is... Yeah. Um, it's not the most rock solid thing. Yeah. yeah. So it was interesting to me, firstly, because... And he's like, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> great. There's some he great was outbursts. so pissed off. There's yeah. some great Hoffman outbursts in that yeah. movie. Definitely. Um, yeah. 10 out of 10 for Hoffman outbursts. Yeah. I was reflecting on how people are. They, they're they so averse to nuance mm. in life, in anything, anything that they live. Like they want to, to stick to, they want rules and they want the rules to be like that forever mm. they want you as a person to be a certain way and you have to be like that mm-hmm. forever yeah. there's no room for change or growth yeah. because i'm too used to the system being yeah. this way yeah. and if you change i'm gonna have to now start grappling with who i am yeah. and I'm, I'm gonna have to start changing too and that's yeah. hard yeah you know i like things the way that they are and yeah. this is easier yeah you know they yeah. enjoy a certain kind of yeah. system yeah. it's easier for them they understand it yeah. but then when things start to change then they have to grow yeah and nobody wants to grow no because grow. growing means oh. you have to think about yourself and your life yeah. and who you you know what is it what are the i don't know yeah, you know? people didn't like, like Bob Dylan. <laughs> people didn't like Bob, Bob Dylan going electric. Seems like a wild thing. Like, who, who, why is that so crazy? Yeah. But they were just, he, I am someone who likes acoustic folk music. And, and now like it shakes my whole identity up. The fact that he goes, plays he electric like guitar. It. Yeah. You know, and yeah, exactly. It, it, for him, in a way, it shows that Hoffman is either, you know, he, as anyone who creates anything, you can want to keep changing it up to interest you. Um, but then, yeah, I can show that he's kind of making stuff up, but, or maybe he's also trying to develop his ideas wherever they come from. Um, and like you said, it's then this, this, which you need this strict dogma to keep an institution, uh, this kind of thing going. If, if it's able to change, then it kind of makes me wonder about all the other stuff that I took just for absolute truth. Yeah. But that's an interesting thing, right? Because I think people in general have that's something I think people need to really uh, consider about themselves mm-hmm. in general. Because Laura Dern in that movie, she was so invested in this cult. And it was, it, it just took, it, it hurt her so much yeah. when yeah. that line, when they changed one line yeah. in the book, it hurt her. Mm-hmm. And it was her entire identity mm-hmm. was just gone, yeah. right? And this is a problem, yeah. first of all, yeah. to completely peg Mm -hmm. your well-being your mental and emotional well-being and your life everything Mm -hmm. on this one thing because that's just part that's just a little bit of life and to say that this is my identity and if and it has to continue to be this way Mm -hmm. because then this is this is how i gain my purpose this is how i know who i am too rigid you're gonna snap you know you gotta be able to move with the wind and (laughs) and It reminded me of how frustrated I get where with people who are like, okay, well, if you are a member of this group, then you have to only do A, B, C, D, and that's it. You have to agree with every single thing. If we hate this, you have to hate it. If you like that, we have to like that. And that is hell on earth. It's hard to keep up with all (laughs) that. Just the thought of that is incredibly daunting yeah, yeah. yeah hard to enjoy so, life that way exactly everybody's fantastic oh. amy adams wow she's oh, yeah. so good oh yeah she makes you believe yeah. in this thing you yeah. can tell that she's yeah my god her, her little speeches her scene every oh, single yeah. thing yeah. every single time she's yeah. she's featured in the in you know yeah. whatever scene she's in yeah. she's fantastic yeah rami malik yeah he's great yeah he was also this ever ever is so good yeah, yeah. yeah. 10 out of 10 yeah. ripe tomatoes yeah yeah. You want to see a fresh movie? Yeah. Yeah. See that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Bye. Bye.